Gentlemen, let's broaden our minds. Lawrence? Yeah, okay, so the movie I'm going to review today uh, is uh, Blair Witch, the reboot. The reboot. Yeah, we'll just call it a, a reboot. The reboot. Directed by Adam Wingard. Adam Wingard made The Guest, mm-hmm. which I fucking loved, and he made uh, Your Next, which I I really liked. Your Next was really interesting. Like, yeah. It, I don't know. I can't say that it was like a good movie, but it wasn't a bad movie. Like it was, it was very entertaining. I liked the very I, much so. I liked the twist where the girl was trained by her dad or yeah. something like that, and she ended up fighting back and ended up being like a really like you know like well, a badass. Well, Home Alone was violent. I was gonna say really violent Home Alone. Pretty much. Yeah, um, that was really awesome. So I've really oh, and he uh, he had a. Um, I forgot what it was, but he also had a segment in I think VHS one or VHS two, uh, which was, was it really the cool. Good one? <laughs> yeah, it was actually one of the good ones. Um, so go. There's only one good one. <laughs> oh, the succubus one. The succubus was the the first movie. Uh, the succubus was like the weird chick that was like drunk and then turned out to be a demon. I think he made that. He made that. I, one? I think. I think. We'll we'll fact check. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so basically this movie was advertised as The Woods, mm-hmm. which was uh, For really... For all intents and purposes, uh, just to throw people off. Yeah, exactly. So at Comic-Con, uh, San Diego Comic-Con, uh, he did a screening for The Woods, and before, before the movie started, he came out and he said, just kidding, it's Blair Witch, and then everybody went, gotcha. everybody went ape shit. So... Let's talk about the original Blair, the original Blair Witch, for a little bit. Did you like the original Blair Witch? I mean, yeah, I I saw it really late in my like you know cinephileness, so like it was past the point where like it was a a fucking marvel for me because <laughs> I saw it after I had already seen Cloverfield. Oh yeah. Okay. So if I had seen it before Cloverfield, I probably would have been like, "Wow, this is like really cool," but like I was like, "Yeah, well, Cloverfield did it better." Um, I thought, I, I, I appreciate the, uh, the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, the dedication they did, you know, the, the, the dedication they had yeah. towards it. Um, I, I don't think it aged well. <laughs> I mean, it was made in like what, 99, 98? Uh, yeah, somewhere okay. around there. Okay, so... The uh, what I really appreciate about it though is that uh, it was. It doesn't th- specifically say what he directed in the movie. It just said he directed part of VHS. Well, gee, thanks. Which part? <laughs> but um, yeah. Um, I, I think if you go on. Wikipedia- oh, he also made the ABCs of Death. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, I think if you go on Wikipedia, it'll actually tell you. Mm. Um, but anyways, I was gonna say um, I I really appreciate what the original Blair Witch did for advertising. Um, it, I think it was one of the first movies to advertise it online. Hmm. Like on on the computer, right? Like, which is cool because they had that website, and like people thought that like the characters were real people. Yeah, yeah. Um, I thought that because every fucking movie now is marketed uh, marketed online. online. Yeah, so it was one of the first movies to do that, and I I think that's really cool, and and uh, you know I, th- I think it's cool that they they did that. Uh, so I think the the ending to the original was pretty pretty cool too. Um. There was a, there's a, I, I think there was a rumor, or, or it might be true, that uh, during the last scene when, uh, I think the girl's name is Heather or something like that. I can't remember. Yeah, I think it was Heather. Um, yeah, it was Heather. It had to be. Heather looked to the side, you know, was supposed to look to the side and see, like, a woman dressed all in white. Right. And she was supposed to scream, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? So the cameraman fucked up. And then turn to the right, so she was just screaming, "What the hell is that?" Without... says his movie was Tape Fifty Six. God damn it! Why is this so hard to look up? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, just screw it, screw it. So, so yeah, that was an accident, and you know, it was kind of like Jaws. You know, you never really saw the shark. Yeah. 
So, yeah, I thought it was a cool ending. Um, now we jump 20 years later, and Heather's brother is looking for Heather. Okay. All right. Um, Do we want to hit the spoiler? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's going to be spoiler. Like, very spoiler heavy. So, it's Heather's brother, his, uh, his friend, uh-huh. and his girlfriend... And another chick. Um, it, uh, so they, they basically want to find her, and they set up all these cameras. Like, they have, like, uh, I don't know, what like GoPros on their head and shit like that. So, you yeah. know, so you can have the excuse of, oh, if they drop the camera, they're still filming. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Yeah. So, my, my situation w- was this. I understand it's found footage. Like, you know, it was yeah. uh, the original was found footage. It was like basically the pioneer. Do you feel like this one needed to be? I don't think it needed to be. I think they did it. I think they did it that way because Just it because, was Blair Witch. Yeah. I think that. Legacy, it, you know? Yeah. I think that if, if this movie didn't have found footage and it was just, a sh- it was shot like a regular film, mm-hmm. it would have been just as, well, it would have been less nauseating. No. Um, cause you know, there, there's a lot of, you know, this, that bullshit, you mm-hmm. know, like, you know, that noise and all that. Yeah. Sorry. I didn't mean to hit the mic. It was the best way to describe it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, you know, very shaky cam, obviously. So they, uh, they meet up with these, uh, oh yeah. First of all, they, they, they watch a video on YouTube of what was happening. Like the original. Yeah. Blowers. The original. And in the mirror, you see somebody. Like standing behind them or something? Yeah, or? some bullshit like that, man. I mean, I saw it a while ago. It was a uh, somebody posted footage up of like the witch, mm-hmm. and they go to this person's uh, house, and it's a it's a younger guy and a younger girl who live in that town, and they go to the woods, and they guide them, and shit, you know, shit goes wild. Of course, you know, like uh, they start becoming paranoid. Mm-hmm. The, the woods become closed off. Blah blah blah. Uh, I mean, that sounds kind of cool that the woods yeah, are all closed off. That know? was that was actually cool. I'll get to that part later. Um, so you do see the witch in this movie. Okay. Yeah. Um, Does it look as shitty as it uh, as it did in was that the second one? Well, the second one isn't um, canon. Yeah, but like there, there was like an there was uh, was it like an action figure or some kind of statuette or some shit that like revealed what the witch looked like. And it looked fucking ridiculous. It had really, it had really, really long arms in this. Yeah. And uh, it was just. I'm gonna tickle it. I'm gonna tickle it. Exactly. So, <laughs> all right. Um, where the fuck was I? Okay. So let let me start off with the positives of this movie. All right. The last twenty minutes are great. Mm-hmm. Before that, is just like tension wise, or just like. Like, no, like it was some good found footage work. Oh, okay. Like it was actually really good found footage work. Uh, found footage work. Um, they go into uh, the house from the first one, mm-hmm. and it it becomes like a haunted uh, like a, a haunted house a haunted house ride. I want to say I hate move. I hate calling movies rides. Mm. Uh, but yeah, but that, like you get a similar experience. So yeah, that's the best way to describe yeah, that's it. the best way to describe it. Um, another aspect I like, which they took from part two, they were trapped in the woods, like. It was there was a point where time stopped and it was just dark. <laughs> it, like it was dark. They they were trapped in the woods. It Perpetual was actual night. Yeah, mm. yeah. It was just dark. It was like the the witch was like fucking with them. Yeah. It, it, it was it was crazy dark and um, it was cool because eventually the uh, the two uh, the the guy and the girl who lived in that town was fucking with them at first. So yeah. then they're like, yeah, fuck off. They couldn't get out. So later in the movie, when everything is going wrong, they see them in the woods and they're like, oh my God, it's been like fucking five days. <laughs> it was crazy. I went, oh, that sucks. Because <laughs> I was just thinking about it. I'm like, they're like, what are you talking about? It's been like 12 hours. And they're like, no, nah, man, it's been like fucking, like the, the guy had a beard and everything. It's been like fucking five days. <laughs> I was like, that's actually pretty scary. <laughs> Cause the way you described it, though, sounds so fucking funny. It, it was, but it was kind of like everybody had the same reaction. Like, oh, that sucks, man. Like, yeah. they're, they're stuck in that time loop. So, the best... One of the best parts in the movie comes from when... Uh, 
Remember the, the, the stick figures that were popular from yeah. that movie? So, in the the couple was fucking with them by putting stick figures up to make, you know, to make the, the experience, because they filmed everything, to make the experience more heightened. heightened. So, the black girl in the group who was, who was with the main characters flipped out because... There was just huge stick figures uh-huh. everywhere. It covered the whole their whole campground. So she's like freaking out, and she grabs one of the stick figures, and uh, the this happens after the guy comes from the woods and goes, "Oh my god, it's been like fucking five days." Mm-hmm. And the girl's like just crying. He's like, "No, we had nothing to do with it. I swear to God." So she grabs the big stick figure, breaks it, and then the girl just snaps in half. That was great because I didn't see that coming. That's no, but fucking nuts, it dude. was it was crazy. It, like it was it was like it was like a collective in the theater. It was a collective. Oh, it. W- <laughs> that sounds that w- pretty cool. It was. It was. But, but like, was that in like the last twenty minutes? You're saying, like the last half hour, mm. and then that's when it got good. Yeah, but I'm saying so. Like, but up until that point, it was just kind of dry. Or the his his black friend the male friend was really annoying mm. he died off first which of was course. cool like a tree hit him that's this is actually a time where like this like the stereotypical shit actually helps yeah so it's like now we don't have to deal with this guy oh anymore. god he was fucking annoying and uh, yeah i guess i guess we're kind of getting into like the negatives of the movie yeah um there was uh, another scene too where um i have to mention this the black girl they're they're walking in the in the water uh, they're, they're, they're walking like across the creek. This is when everything's cool. Mm-hmm. And uh, fucking stupid ass people go, let's take off our shoes and walk across the creek. You're like, okay. That sounds like a good idea. So they're walking across the creek. And the black girl like gets her foot cut open by a rock or something. Wow. And then like over time her foot gets worse. And mm. like, you know, like the, it, the infection grows. It's funny because like they're walking in the woods and... Literally, every time she steps on it wrong, it sounds like a twig snapping. Mm, so That makes me feel uncomfortable. So every time a twig snapped, like it, it sounded like a fucking twig snapping and she would just fall over. And I'm like, did this bitch like break her leg? Like 40, <laughs> like happened like four or five times. Like, ah! Like it would, her leg would just snap. <laughs> That's all you would hear. Just, they're just walking and like, you know, just... <laughs> and it just falls over, and there there's a a really creepy part where her her boyfriend, the black dude, lifts up her foot, and they're looking at it. They're looking at the incision, mm-hmm. and he's like, "Oh yeah, that looks infected." And then there was like a muscle spasm, mm-hmm. like it, was, it looked like there was something in her fucking foot. Uh... It went, it went, <laughs> and then she went, "Ah, oh, don't touch it like that." And he was like, "I didn't touch your damn foot." <laughs> I didn't touch your foot. So Wow. So yeah, it was it was pretty I'm it was definitely... pretty creepy. And then she would I'm not even done yet. She she was walking and uh this has happened late this happens later in the movie. She she was walking and she lifts up her, her pants and she has like cuts all over her, her leg. She takes out like uh well first it it uh it oozes like shit oozes out. Mm-hmm. It, it looks like carbonations like carbonated soda is like mm-hmm. coming out of her leg and she's like screaming the whole time. And then she takes, like, something out. It cut really fast. You couldn't see what it was. Mm -hmm. But she takes it out, and then she's fine. The bitch with the bad leg climbs a tree to go get the... uh, Because they have a a drone in the movie that they use. And uh, she falls, and she dies. That, oh, that's good. basically nice. it. and then the then that's the stupid. yeah then the witch pulls her that really pissed me off i'm like okay you're the one with the bad leg then they're why all would sp- you be the one to climb the tree yeah they're all split up at this point i'm guessing because she's like maybe if i use the drone and it goes up i can see where to go i guess but mm-hmm. yeah that didn't work the uh prior to that uh the the uh the other female in the group uses that drone to see where they're at it was all trees hmm. they didn't know where the hell they were wow so yeah um but the the, the last 20 minutes was was really good. Um, it had yeah. a lot of uh, overall. What would you? What did you get it? A six. A six. No, I'm sorry. No, no, no. Um, five point five. Okay. Yeah. That's, um, I'll definitely check it out when it like comes out online or something. Yeah. Um, the the last uh, the last twenty minutes is worth it. Honestly, it it was really good found footage work. Um, I think that uh, the performances were. I didn't like anybody in the movie. To be honest, mm. it was just very. Like you just the characters weren't relatable. This is typical. Yeah. Typical people. 
and nothing really nothing really special the uh All right, so i mean then i guess i kind of not saying i'm glad i didn't go because I, yeah. I wish i wish i could have seen it in the theater but like you know if i catch it i catch it if not eh. Uh, let me just tell you, can I tell you the ending, or do you... No, don't tell me the don't ending. Don't tell you the ending? Okay, okay, I won't tell you the ending. Um, yeah, it was, a. it was a 5.5. I was kind of disappointed in it, um, mainly because I really like Adam Wingard, mm. and I hope he does more original stuff, because I like his original stuff, but it was, it was honestly whatever. It was, it was fine. Um, oh, there was a lot of jump scares. Mm. Too fucking many. I was really disappointed yeah, wow. he would do that. I'm like, really, man? Yeah, that's like, he he's better than that. Exactly. I'm like, what? I'm like, like it was, con- like there was a, there was a point where there was. I don't some- know. I was gonna say, it sounds like he kind of just like catered to the fact that like, you know, this is a legacy movie from, you know. Yeah. Blair I, Witch. I uh, did. Look. I gotta, gotta go with the cliches because the original is kind of cliched. Look, going back to the, going back to the, to the positives. I like that they took some aspects from part two. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, with the time loop and, and all that. And, uh, I thought some of the camera work was cool towards the end. Um, it was actually pretty goddamn frightening towards the end. It was, I was, um, I was, it was pretty tense. 